All right, so let's walk through a quick example of how to transfer the data from any import add-on over to your main seller spreadsheet. So in this example, I happen to be using the Etsy import add-on and the Shopify seller spreadsheet, but the concepts that I'm covering here are going to apply no matter what import add-on you're looking at and no matter what seller spreadsheet you're looking at. The gist is the same. So you've imported in some totals here for January and you want those totals to show up on your main seller spreadsheet. There's a few options that you have. So you can start by renaming these custom income rows on your seller spreadsheet to match uh, these guys here. And you have a, a decision that you can make. Do you want to put each of these items in here individually and have a row for each of them like you do on your import add-on or do you just wanna carry over the total amount? And that is really up to you. Um, I, you could even do some sort of combination of those like have maybe refunds stated separately, but then lump these three guys together. It really just depends what sort of information you wanna track over here. So let's say I decide I just wanna put the total sum of those four guys here. I'm just gonna do, I'm actually gonna record this as net Etsy revenue so that I know that that means that it's including sales tax collected, including shipping received, but minus refunds. And I'm gonna enter that as 332.54. And that's all I need to do to get that one on there. Um, I might end up wanting to make a row for each individual one. And so that would look like this. And then I'd have to insert a row for refunds, which I'll show you in a second. Um, or, you know, I might want to Let's say I want to lump in these three and have refunds stated separately. Uh, that could be good for tax purposes because you, on your income tax return, you actually report refunds separate from your gross sales. So let's say I decide I want to do it like that. I'm going to do uh, my Etsy sales here. I can easily sum these three guys up by highlighting them and then looking down here to see the sum 3358.52. And then I'm going to do Etsy refunds. And that's going to be a negative $25.98. Uh, if you're ever in a situation where, let's say, you're already using these custom revenue rows and you need to insert some new ones, that is totally doable. Uh, you just want to, let's say that I'm already using this row to be like craft show sales or something, and it already has something here. Uh, if you want to insert a new row, you just click on the cell number next to total revenue, right click and do insert. That's gonna add a new row here. So you can call that whatever you want. Like let's say you're also using um, the square import add-on and you wanna add square sales. Um, the important thing to note is when you add a new row, you want to make sure that the sum formulas are capturing that new data and you will see you have to unlock your spreadsheet to do that, which is totally doable. Um, it's not password protected. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you're welcome to email support at paperandspark.com and we can add the new row in there for you. Uh, if you feel comfortable doing it yourself, this is what you would do. You'd go to the review tab, sheet to unlock it, if you're working in Google Sheets or Numbers, your spreadsheet's not locked to begin with, so you don't have to do that step. Um, now I'm going to adjust this formula. See when I click the formula in the formula bar, I can just click and drag down one more so that it includes cell B10 now, that new one I just inserted. Click Enter, and now it's good to go. And then you want to uh, hover your cursor over the bottom right hand corner of that cell with that new sum until you see it turn into this plus sign and you can just click and drag that all the way over so that all the monthly and even the annual sum now include that new row in their in their formula uh, the last thing you want to do is same thing right here for the annual sum, click and drag down. So now that is going to account for the new row. It's gonna sum it up for you. 
And then I highly, highly recommend you lock this back. Don't need to set a password or anything, just click OK. And now you can lock it back and those ugly green triangles go away and your new column has been added. So the next step is to transfer any of these fees that you have over here. And you can use these custom expense rows to do that. Instead of transferring both individually, I personally am gonna just do Etsy fees here. And I'm going to transfer the sum to 99.87. Uh, if you wanted to have each one individually, you could. And same thing, if you need to insert a new row, you can just follow those same steps. The final thing to consider are your sales tax and buy state tabs if you have them. Um, you are going to have sales tax for whatever you're importing on on your main seller spreadsheet here, and it's gonna be separate on your import add-on. When you do your sales tax forms, you will want to add those guys together, do the sum of those guys. You could do that on your calculator if you want. You can um, copy and paste these totals over here and add them together on one tab for your spreadsheet if you want. It's really up to you. Just remember that you're tracking it in two separate places. All right, finally, let's talk about these orange by state tabs. If you happen to be working with two spreadsheets, a seller spreadsheet and an import add-on that both have them. Not all the spreadsheets have those, but like if I'm trying to deal with the Etsy import add-on and the Shopify seller spreadsheet, I have them on both. So you may want to be able to keep track of your total sales by state or dollars of sales by state um, all in one place. Uh, you're tracking it separately on each spreadsheet. You can add it together in your head or with a calculator if you feel like you're getting close to economic nexus with a particular state. Or you can also uh, unlock this tab and insert in another column if you wanted to. Uh, and let's say this one is keeping track of my Shopify yearly totals. Over here, I may wanna put in my Etsy year totals, and you could honestly copy and paste this um, if you wanted to, or if you're just worried about like a specific state, you may wanna transfer the totals for just those specific states over here. Um, let's say I just wanna do everything, so I'm just going to copy this from the import add-on, and uh, you wanna do paste as values, so paste special and then values. Um, and then you can even add one more column where you can just add these two together. That way you can always know your total per state across your entire business. You can insert columns to add from even more sources. You can do that same process for um, your gross dollar sales too if you want. Just remember that you'll need to update that column that you're pasting in from the import add-on every month. And this is something that you may not really even need to worry about, but if you wanted to keep track of it all in one place, that's what I would recommend. And then of course, lock your spreadsheet back when you're done. So that in a nutshell is how you can go about transferring import add-on totals over to your main seller spreadsheet.